guys, it's Saturday. Welcome back to the den. So it's going to be a real quick short video from us this week. I'm in a bit of pain. I kind of wrenched my back at work a couple days ago and uh, Ken kind of <laughs> did the same thing. So Plus, just... you know, Sabrina's out as of today and we really want to watch it. So we got a new TV. It's much bigger than the old TV. So now we're like itching to watch everything on it. Yeah, yeah. The first thing I did is I loaded up The Hobbit in HD, well, 4K. Oh my god, nerdgasm. So, we are probably just going to be watching nothing but movies and series for a while now. I mean, not that we do much else, <laughs> let's be real, but... <laughs> Exciting life we lead. <laughs> I mean, when you work lots, then it is. So, yeah. So, uh, on that line... There's a new show that we've been watching that's absolutely incredible that I absolutely recommend to anybody with OCD, uh, mental health issues, anybody who's part of the LGBTQ2 plus community. Uh, so it's called Work in Progress. And it's produced by Lana Wachowski it's from The Matrix or Sense8 for anybody who's seen it. This beautiful man here has only seen an episode or two, so maybe that's another thing we can watch on our new TV. <laughs> <laughs> the list anyway, is getting longer and it, longer. It really, really is. <laughs> but back to work in progress. Absolutely incredible show. It's about a uh, self-identifying lesbian woman. But but she doesn't identify as a lesbian. She identifies as queer. So that means she loves anybody under the spectrum. Yeah. So that would like as it as it were. She her first relationship was with a woman. And in the series, she meets up with Chris, who is a uh, male trans. And it has some guest cameos by Julia Sweeney and Weird Al Yankovic. So that's yeah. really cool. For our younger viewers, uh, I'm sure you know who Weird Al is, but who may not know who Julia Sweeney is. It, she was on Saturday Night Live for a number of years, and she, she was famous for doing a... Uh, and a somewhat androgynous character called It's Pat, where nobody really knew whether Pat was a boy or Pat was a girl. Yeah. Yeah. And that's actually that whole thing. It's Julie Sweeney playing herself, so it's really interesting how that whole character of Pat kind of works its way into the whole drama. The of the, yeah. yeah, it's really, really good. There's only one episode left of the first season. It's already been renewed for a 10-episode second season, so I'm really excited for that. Um... Other than that, Haley Williams, if you haven't heard, dropped her first single off her new album, uh, Petals for Armor, and the single's called Simmer. So, here's the thing. I love Paramore. I do. And I have since they were a new band out there. Right. I wanted to love this single, and I couldn't. And I don't hate it. It's not like, ew, I never want to hear that again. It's just, when you... Are expecting someone to go solo for the first time and they come out with their first single on their solo album you expect it's gonna be like a big hit and it just isn't that yeah yeah it wasn't at all what I expected I'm sure it's one of those songs that if I listen to it a few more times it might grow on me yeah but going like right over the gate it is not at all what I expected it's very self-indulgent music which I love because I like really weird, artsy, like Bjork. Come on. It doesn't get much more self-indulgent than Bjork. But, um, I don't know. It it might grow on me, I, I feel like. At first, it I might. was like, oh my god, baby, you gotta hear it. Oh my god, it's so bad. Oh my god. And then I listened to it again, I'm like, mm, it's yeah. not bad. It's just not what I was expecting, especially yeah, from... Yeah, that's how Haley. I felt with a lot of newer Madonna songs. Hard, yeah. hard Candy notwithstanding, because I, I really, I tried so hard to love that album and I couldn't. But it just, like, it's, you listen to it and you're like, hmm. And you like, give it a second or a third listen and you're like, okay, now I get it. Mm. Yeah, so, so that's, yeah, that's kind of interesting. Uh, we finished watching the movies that we talked about last week, um, so all that jazz. Actually, to be completely honest, we didn't finish watching we yeah. gave it an honest effort. We watched 45 minutes of it, and both of us kept looking at each other like... I... I, honestly, and I, I, 
I'm sure that we're going to hear from somebody about it, but it seemed like it was a lot of setup, and then it was more setup, more setup, more setup, and I didn't feel like we were ever going to arrive at a point where the story was actually completely unfolded. It just felt like it was more intro, intro, intro yeah. into all these scenarios, and it just, it was, there was no, it was noisy, and it was brash, and yeah, I it just, just couldn't. It just started, there wasn't any opening, there wasn't any, it, it just, which is, I mean, very 70s, I guess. But yeah, I, I get it, I get the aesthetic they were going for, and I get what they were trying to do, but it just... Well, that's I the way couldn't. a lot of film was in the '70s, where it just right. begins and then, then boom, right off the go, uh, right off the get go. But right, I'm sure if again, like the Haley Williams song, it's one of those things. If you approach it in the right mindset, maybe it'll yeah, you can really appreciate it in yeah. a certain way. Because when I say it was a lot of noise, like obviously there was a lot of actual noise, but it was more like you know when you're in a, like a crowded cafe a lot of am loud and, ambient noise yeah you're in a crowded cafe and you can't concentrate on one thing yeah. at a time that's how I felt while I was watching yeah. it yeah there was a lot of ambient noise it was just very raw and very yeah and, and it wasn't face. in the head neither one of us were in the head space for it at that point too. no so we we gave it an honest effort but after about 45 minutes it was just so Apologies, we gave it our honest effort, and yeah, not saying it was a bad movie, just no, not for us, not in this moment anyway, not in that moment. Yeah, we might revisit it later, and we might love it, but it just wasn't. We weren't in the right headspace. Yeah, for. yeah, because there's a lot of movies that we've watched recently that we watched growing up, and it was just like, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, when that nostalgia good. filter came off and you watched it again, you were like, ooh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's been a few, so. But I think that might do it for us this week. Yeah, we, um, we really want to get to watching Sabrina, no offense to you guys. So. <laughs> <laughs> we just got a big TV, like, eh. it was gifted to us, so. Yeah. We're still broke. <laughs> well, yeah, <it's, laughs> Working class hero is something to be. I'm not going to say thank you, John Lennon. No. Oh. Uh, <laughs> making it sound like people are just gifting us television. <laughs> <laughs> Give me money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's it's got a little... we got to um, make a, a slight repair to it. There's a solder joint that's loose, and it's got a little tiny line on the screen, but nothing that is going to be extraordinarily... So we got it because somebody was getting rid of that TV because they thought it was broken. So, it'll take us all five minutes to fix it once we get the back off. Yeah, we've already looked it up and it's no an issue with the, that specific make and model. So, it's quick, easy fix, and yeah. It and it was free. <laughs> yeah, and it's bigger. Yeah. And it looks amazing in here. Like, yeah. maybe we'll have to do an apartment. Did we ever do an apartment? No, we tour? never did do that. Shit. Oh. Mostly because we were too lazy to uh, clean the apartment thoroughly enough to do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. So, that's it for us this week, guys. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And always, if you have any other movie recommendations that you would recommend us watch, especially now that we've got a bigger TV, let us know in the comments below. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye! Bye.